Step number three in your match ammo reloading, annealing. So I anneal every time I reload. It just works. Uh, some don't because it's seen as you know too time consuming and uh, that's understandable. Um, I started off reloading not annealing at all. Uh, it took me a while to you know read about the process and hear the benefits and uh, so then I started off the way a lot of people do with a, a blowtorch and a deep socket and a drill and and um, using Tempelac and things like that. Uh, then I moved to a DIY uh, rotary block torch um, and that worked all right for a while too. And then finally I went to the amp annealer uh, which is a, uh, a induction annealer. Uh, it's a great product. It is simple to use and most importantly is how consistent it is every time. So for people unfamiliar with it, you take a sacrificial piece of brass and you do a test uh, with, with the amp annealer and it will actually destroy the brass. So it will, it will uh, heat it up to the point of failure. And by doing that, it knows where it should stop as well. So uh, you lose that piece of brass, but it ends up giving you a number and then you can uh, use that number time and time again on all your other brass. And um, I do tend to do this on every new lot I have. I will check it again. And um, it's usually really close. Uh, I also use Lapua brass almost exclusively now. And um, I think that's one of the major reasons why. Um, it just works efficiently. Um, but you know, it is still somewhat time consuming. Um, so let me, let me show you how I used to do it and then I'll show you how I do it now. All right. So after you've done your test, um, and you have your number, this isn't on right now, but, um, you have a, a holder, uh, which also is holding your, your actual case holder. And, um, so you put in a piece of brass. You put it down in the hole, you know, press go, wait a couple seconds, pull it out, dump it out, do it again. Press the button, wait, take it out, dump it. You wouldn't touch it like that because it's hot. Uh, that's the way I used to do it. And um, it still works. Lots of people do it that way but let me show you the process that I'm using now. So this is the amp mate, which goes with the amp annealer. And um, it is a self feeding system for uh, using the amp annealer. Uh, I have it hooked up to my Dylan case feeder, just like I did for uh, the depriming video except that now it swings back and feeds the amp mate. And uh, so I'll show you how this works. We're going to start. I'm going to use run, enter code, use the last, which is 0159. That's correct. All right. So I'm going to feed my brass. Okay, so now I am going to tell it to start. There was no brass in there, so it's going to come up empty. Tell me an error because it didn't find anything. And that's fine. We're going to start it again. There we go. So now I've fed that brass into a holder which turned it, put it in the annealer, brought it back out, 
kicked it out, and now it's doing it again. And of course it's doing all of this without me doing anything. So I will normally feed this and then go work on something else. Um, I'll probably have a couple of misfeeds over a couple hundred rounds and uh, that's fine. It's easy to fix. It beeps at me and tells me what to do. So it's not really a problem at all. And when you're all done, you have this beautiful pile of clean annealed brass ready to go on to the next step in our process, which will be lubing the brass prior to sizing it. So stay tuned for the next episode.